Hello, this is Chris Love from the Information Lab. Uh, we're going to be going through index calculations in Tableau today. Um, we're going to be using them to create small multiples and going through some of the problems that people have when they're trying to get this calculation working. Uh, it's a little tricky beast. You need to understand the uh, table calculations quite well and what's going on underneath. I'll try and explain that as we go along, but also just give you the, the quick tips that you need to, to work this out. So first of all, uh, let's just create a chart so I'm going to do region I'm going to do sales and then I'm going to say we want to break this down by subcategory in our small multiple let's put region on color so we've got a bit of uh, oops I should have control dragged that to ensure we've got a bit of uh, variety there or something like that right let's start with the calculations I'm going to do an index I'm going to take one off it that's going to mean the index starts at zero. Then I'm going to do a percent four. So that four could be any number, but what it means is the numbers 0, 1, 2, 3 will get the same value as 4, 5, 6, 7. The same value as 8, 9, 10, 11, etc. It's just going to put those to a base four. And then I'm going to do the same here. Index minus one. And I'm going to divide this one by 4. So that means the values 0, 1, 2, 3 will get the value 0. The values 0, uh, 4, 5, 6, 7 will get the value 1. And that's what makes our rows. So we're just taking the integer of that just to round that value off to the nearest integer. So we just need to make sure that this is... Uh, there we go. So index minus one, too many brackets. Super. So then I make these discrete. And we just make sure they're on the left here. And then what we'd normally do is just make sure that region's um, selected there. And we put in the subcategory. We drag it to the top and we say at the level of our subcategory. Likewise, we put the thing that we want the small multiple over, make it at the level of and make sure that's at the top. So then everything works. Using this at the level of trick really makes sure that things there's no if there's any blank values in there, it doesn't mean that the, it's going to skip over it, it's just going to do it at the right level. So nice and straightforward, um, we've got our small multiple. Uh, I then hide these just to make sure it's nice and tidy. Everything works. Right, that's the basic concept. Um, you do at the level of the thing that you're trying to do the small multiple over and make sure it's at the top. But what can go wrong? Well, um, the thing I find going most wrong is when we've got continuous values and that most happens with dates so let's put this in here put sales and then again do this over subcategory so I'm going to just repeat my calculations index minus one you can do this in your own calculation you don't need to do it in the in the window itself I, I just prefer it for speed um, so let's make that discrete ditto index minus one divide it by four fix a spelling mistake and do an integer and let's make it discrete so now we go in here we do our specific dimensions do subcategory and at the level of subcategory Making it at the level of just means that it's counting over any blank values. It, it densifies the data so that it counts over any blank values and still give those an index number. Um, it's kind of not working. So we've we've got chairs up here um, with bookcases. Um, that's because there's some blank values here, so it's giving them the same index value still. And that's because tableau isn't coping with this continuous value so i'm going to hold down 
my control. I'm going to move it to just there. And then I'm going to make this an attribute. So I'm going to double click ATTR. And then I'm going to make it continuous up here. Now the attribute is just going to give exactly the same value because I've moved that down there. And it's going to mean that everything will work. Um, it's just a if you've got an act if you've got a continuous value on columns, a continuous dimension, or continuous dimension on rows, then it's not going to work. It's going to not densify over that data. Moving it down here into detail means it will densify over that data and give us the correct values. So there we are, just two really quick tricks to make sure you get the right values when you're doing your index calculations. The more you practice these, the more it will come naturally. Um, have a go. Any questions, let me know in the comments on the video.